Today on 16-Bit Game Review, I talk about bites, I go into a hole, and finally I take a look at all Pac-Man games for the 2600. Hello and welcome! Today I'm going to be doing a mini review of Pac-Man for the Atari 2600 or video computer system. Pac-Man for the Atari 2600 is not the Pac-Man from the arcades. It's a very, very limited port, and it was made this way because of limitations by the management of Atari. Atari wanted as many of these cartridges out, and they wanted to be made as cheaply as possible. So they decided to use the 4 kilobit ROM cartridges rather than its bigger 8 kilobit cartridges. Just for scale, this picture of Pac-Man, the actual picture itself, is 23.1 kilobits. The game was 4 kilobits. And the actual arcade machine, it contained 4 times the amount of memory. What made things worse was that they cut down the development time to 4 months. Which means that there was no time to actually make the bloody game. The goal in Pac-Man is to eat all the dots on screen, and then you move on to the next round, and the next round, and the next round, until you lose. You lose by being eaten by a ghost. You can protect yourself by eating a power pellet, which makes the ghost flee, but you can also eat the ghost for bonus points. This game is ugly. The end. Gone are the neon tube structures and bright, vibrant colors, and in comes these dark, plain, brown-like colors and very, very unappealing shapes and sizes. Nothing really stimulates you, and everything, including the ghosts, aren't good looking. They could have done so much more with the Atari, and in fact they did with Miss Pac-Man and Pac-Man Jr. The fact that they can do those tells me they could have done it with this. Surprisingly, one of the things that survived the transition from the arcade to the Atari was the controls. The controls are very nice, they're very accurate, and they're very, very precise. That just hurt my ears. This game is a perfect example on how corporations, bad business practices, and decisions can ruin something which was inherently fun. Does that mean the game isn't worth it? Well, if you're like me and you find this type of game enjoyable and the fact that someone was able to make something like this with the amount of restrictions that were put on them, then yes, the game is completely worth it. However, there are better Pac-Man games out there for the Atari. This Pac-Man is a million times better than this game, and Pac-Man Jr. is probably the best running Atari game I have ever seen. So if you have your eyes set on a very, very fun game, please go buy those. If you have your mind set on Pac-Man for Atari, then go get Pac-Man. It's not a bad game, but it is broken. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you like our videos, please check out some of our other videos in the annotations below. Give us a like, give us a dislike, and please subscribe if you want to see more videos. Anyways, thank you for watching.